so got a few little deliveries a bit of stuff to do on the uh, Barra Patrol new front radius on bushes they're um, zero degree caster correction because I don't, I'm running minimal lift if anything I'll probably drop it down put some softer springs in it just to make it a bit nicer on the road got new radius arm bushes but that's for the chassis to radius arm and then in here I got I think they're 15 mil spaces I'll have to confirm that um, yeah 15 mil spaces and they go with these and all that does is just brings the wheel forward by 15 mil or whatever the size they are, I can't really remember. Because um, as you can see it's quite close to the back, just here. Um, and that'll help me yeah, not scrub there. Because I know on my old patrol I used to scrub there, I put those spaces in and it made it way better. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Now these are rubber bushes. Um, I've used the, is it nolothane or whatever it is, I don't know, the plasticky kind of ones before and I don't like them, they're pretty crap, they flog out quickly, they don't like the mud or anything or any water, but um, the standard rubber sort of style, that's usually pretty good. And I got them from online auto parts, um, I get a bit of stuff from there, they're usually pretty well priced and yeah, can't complain, but yeah, cheap, come to you, get to your door quickly. Um, I think I got these spaces. They're just an eBay jobby or something, um, and hopefully after I've replaced all these front radius arm bushes and put the spaces in, the car will drive a bit better, a bit nicer on the road, and yeah, just making, polishing a turd I guess, making an old piece of crap drive a bit nicer, yeah. Now to do it on a Nissan Patrol, um, I believe to get the radius arms out you got to take this drag link or whatever that is, it's for the steering. So I've just undone that nut, I need to do it, undo it more, then I'll pop it off with a little um, special popper, I guess, whatever it's called, paper pin pop or what, whatnot. Um, yeah, take that out, take the sway bars off the arms, um, and then you undo that nut there and it all comes out. It's pretty self-explanatory. This thread gets all rusty um, and a bit shit, so it makes it hard to get it off. Um, this one's actually not too bad. But I do recommend spraying something on it. Maybe even just leave it before you do it. It's a bit of penetrant or something like that. I've just used Ballisto, it's probably not the right stuff, but it's better than nothing. So um, yeah, we'll see how that comes off. Should be alright. Felt, felt good, but yeah, just a little trick, I guess. one radius arm out um, yeah so these are offset for the lift um, I'm putting no offset in and they, these actually look in really good nick if I'm being honest with you uh, most of the time I pull them out and they're really flogged but yeah I replaced them um, with my ones and yeah it should be sweet as righto so I'm going to set up the press and uh, push these old bushes out and then I'll Press the new ones in. So I've just pressed the first new bush in. Got the next one to do. I'll film that. Um, what I did notice is these are ridiculously oversized for the hole. Like usually it would be quite close, but these are pretty much a millimetre oversized. So I don't know if I was going to have to machine down the outside or something like that, but I thought I'll just try push one in on the press and it worked all right, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to press them in. But yeah, compared to ones I've done in the past, these were, yeah, these the difference in like fit these are quite tight, so just something to take note of, I guess. I'm just going to put a light smear of grease on the uh, leading edge, just to help it slide in. 
Needs all the help it can get. Make sure it doesn't pick up on anything, so yeah, try that. There we have it. Both bushes in. So yeah, this one looking alright. I'm not too sure about the alignment of these holes. I don't think that means much. It might help with them flexing or something, but I obviously didn't pay much attention to it, so won't worry about it. Um, next, I'll clean up this a little bit, just with a bit of um, a bit of emery paper, just to get the surface rust off it. Then the spacer goes in there, I think. think that, yeah, should go there. So there's the spacers. I'll open them up. So yeah, that's them. Not much to them. Um, there's one one for each side, obviously. And then this bush here, that I believe, yeah, I think that slides under the end of this to give you a bit more room. So then yeah, that will slide over there and up to that shoulder like that. And so effectively, what's happened when you do that is you're moving the radius arm and like your whole diff and everything that's attached to this that much further forward. I think these are 15 mil. Yeah, 15 mil forward. So yeah, I think these are about 50 bucks from Superior Engineering and all that, but I just got them I think for about 25 or 26 bucks off eBay. Um, there's not much to them, they're pretty simple. I mean you could make them if you wanted to, but yeah, for what it is, just I just bought them. So I'll go ahead and chuck them on, and then these are the new bushes. They go, they're new ones of them pretty much. Um, these are pretty old and hard, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but that's actually ovaled out, so that won't be very good. And that's what these plasticky bushes are no good for. They they get hard, and then they hold their shape like that. So yeah, chuck these in, put the arm back in, and then do exactly the same for the next arm on the uh, driver's side. Sweet as, that's how it will look. So, I'll go chuck that in the car now. Um, oh, Annie sees this in. You always want to Annie sees it. Um, because chances are you'll be replacing these, or the next person who buys the car off you will be replacing the bushes again. So, yeah, sweet as. So, I've just chucked the uh, left hand side one in. That was the first one I did. And I've pulled out the uh, driver's side. So, I I won't film it, but I'll quickly punch them out, press these in, um, chuck the new spacer on there, and chuck it straight back in. Um, yeah, just I'll get it done quickly because I'm running out of daylight. Um, yeah. Righto, that's the second arm done. Um, now, yeah, I'll just chuck the spacer on like I was saying before. Um, and he sees that up, put it all in. A bit of a trick for when you chuck them in is... Get the bolts in and leave them. Leave it like get the bolt in with a nut on and leave it all loose. And then I like to tighten this one first, and then tighten these ones because if you tighten any of these before you get the um, like all all three bits together and in there, then it doesn't like to move around and you just be fighting it. So it's already a bit of a prick of a job. So you want to try and make it as easy as you can for yourself. Yeah, I'll go chuck this in now. So I've now got both of the arms with the new bushes and the spaces in. Um, I've, I've timed them all up under there. So uh, I'll probably just pack up all my tools and all that. And then I'll take it for a drive because I have changed from caster bushes to um, like no offset bushes really. So I want to make sure it drives nice and that there's no wobbles or anything. Uh, because, yeah, taking that caster correction out. You can sometimes get funny things happening with the steering, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's job done. Another little thing ticked off the list for the uh, Barra GQ. Slowly again there, bit by bit, turn it into a bit more of a tourer, make it drive nice. I think I'll probably be looking at some uh, new shocks for it pretty soon, I reckon. Um, I had the Superior Engineering Remote Res shocks in my 80 series. 
and they were really good. So I think I'll probably go with either them or something else on the market, but definitely remote res. And yeah, yep, keep building it up, see how she goes. So I've just done about 50 k's. Um, it's the next morning. Um, the bushes felt pretty good. It definitely was probably a bit smoother on the road, um, being rubber and all that. Um, yeah, it was a good thing to do. Drove nicely, can't complain at all. Um, yeah, that's a good little job to do if you want to make your car drive a bit better. Cheers for watching. Oh, 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 oh,